Hey guys, so it's been kind of an insane past several days. Some calamities have occurred. It's been a really good week, but starting off with my drone actually being hit by a car, some interesting, unforgettable things have happened. And guys, you definitely don't want to miss the second thing, which I'll probably talk about more later on in this video. So first off, over about a week ago, I went fishing with the Beantown Angler and my dad at this new spot that we found. There were some really cool fish. It's a small pond, and we almost had to go into this marshy, jungle-like area. There were trees everywhere and plants, not many flat surfaces. And then I flew my drone because the landscape looked really nice, and I got some sick shots. Then, when I was considering where to land it, I didn't have many options. And then I started getting pressed for time because my drone became low on battery. And when it becomes low on battery, it starts beeping and giving me a warning because eventually it'll be so low that I'll have to land automatically based on where it is or do the return to home feature and then land. And it's kind of stressful when you get to that low of battery and you just want to land the drone. But there was one huge empty spot, the parking lot. It was empty except for our car, so I moved the drone over in that direction and had it floating overhead, and I was going to start walking around the pond making my way over, and then it was kind of taking a while, so I decided to lower it. I started dropping the drone down to land on this gravel, and then I actually said this out loud to Ronan about what would happen if a car came into the parking lot and ran the drone over because it was landed on the ground. Then Ronan suggested to land it on the roof of our Jeep, but I didn't fully process what he said, and I didn't really want to do that anyways because I wasn't completely confident that the roof was flat enough for that. So I just landed it on the sure thing. There was much more open space than on the roof as well. So I landed it in the parking spot right next to the Jeep. So the drone was sitting there next to our car in the middle of a parking spot, and I was looking at the monitor as I was walking over. Not especially fast, but I was a little worried in my head. It was kind of in the back of my mind about someone coming up and taking it or something like that. But I felt that I could just lift it off in time if I had to. And then I started seeing a car pulling up and slowing down on the road that goes by the parking lot and I thought yeah there's no way right and then it let a car go by it turn left into the parking lot and then it started turning right into the parking spot where my drone was and I thought to myself oh my god there's no way this is real I'm in a dream I literally said out loud what would happen if a car pulled in and ran my drone over and I started absolutely freaking out. I completely lost my mind. And I tried to lift my drone off in time, but it started going up, it was a few feet up, and then the car pulled onto the spot and I lost camera connection. And then I lost it some more. We went by, the people who were driving the car walked right by us, I didn't even say anything. They were just having a normal day, they seemed happy with their dogs and then I went over and sure enough under their car was my drone still on it seemed completely normal but I was still really mad and it was just crazy that the people driving didn't even notice Cal explain what just happened no I can't get away from me alright well Cal's very salty how's it looking in there? can you grab it? yeah it's fine it doesn't even look damaged. Before I got to that car, I wondered how I was going to go on without a drone because I was absolutely positive that it would have been completely destroyed and there would be nothing I could do about it. 
But then, upon closer inspection, when I reached under the car and grabbed it, the extent of the damage seemed to be almost none. Even looking now, I can't see scuff marks on the little rotors. It's incredible. It lifted up, got hit by the very tip of the car, fell back down, and just stayed underneath the car. I'm just really glad it didn't get run over and completely destroyed by the tire. But I learned something really important there. You just have to expect everything to go wrong because anything that can go wrong will go wrong. That's a real rule in science. And if I didn't lend my drone there, the car probably wouldn't have pulled into the parking lot. Since Ronan didn't use the drone footage that I recorded, I'm going to show you guys now. believe the second debacle. So the Beantown Angler's friend, Ralph Destin, has been on my channel. He was the star of a movie trivia game show that was a lot of fun. He's actually been on Ronan's channel, I think, once as well. But on Saturday, Ronan had the graduation party since he graduated high school. And there were a bunch of people there, including Ralph Destin. And then I called Ian Lundin up and had him come over. He was also in that movie trivia game show. He came over on his boosted board, which is the same thing that Casey Neistat uses to get around. It can go pretty fast. And you have a dial in your hand, and you have a dial in your hand that controls the brakes and the speed that you go, and it can go pretty fast. I tried it once going on it for like, I don't know, 10 seconds without even powering on the actual part, just using it as a skateboard. It wasn't for me. It seemed too dangerous, like I could get killed on it, even though I've played hockey for my whole life. So, at this graduation party, Ralph took the boosted board, he put his bike helmet on, and went out the driveway with the dial in his hand that controls the speed. And Ian said that he put the speed on the lowest setting, and he had taught Ralph before how to brake and just use the board overall. So Ralph goes out, but I was expecting him to just go maybe 10 seconds away and come back, or even up and down the driveway since there was enough room. But then he disappeared, and Ronan and I played ping pong. We went for about three games, so I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. And I was wondering the whole time, like, where's Ralph? And we were kind of joking about it a little bit, that he disappeared, or that he stole Ian's board. But we kind of just thought that he was on a joyride, enjoying himself. And then, after maybe the second or third game, me, Ian, Ronan, and our cousin Simone went out to the front of our house to look for Ralph. Ronan called him, and then the Milton Police Department picked up the phone. Ronan interestingly said that his initial thought was that Greg had stolen Ralph's phone somehow because he does prank calls all the time and he was like Milton police, but Ron said he could also hear Ralph talking in the background, so they said Milton police and Ronan at was like Who? And then they told him that His friend was on a skateboard and got hurt. He fell off hit his head got knocked out, and he probably has a concussion. We were all mind blown. And then we asked where they were. The officer gave us the location, and then we saw an ambulance go by, and we could tell immediately where Ralph was, and we realized that the situation was insane. But the situation didn't even really register in my head fully until I told my dad what had happened and he reacted. And everyone else at the party was freaking out as well as they should have. 
And when I got down there, Ralph was talking gibberish. I'm class of 2021. I'm Ralph Destin. I'm at my friend's graduation party. And when my mom got down there and she went into the ambulance with Ralph to talk to him before he left to the hospital, he said, Oh, what month is it? My mom was like, Ralph, uh, you tell me. And then he said, Well, it can't be June yet because I haven't graduated yet. So Ralph went off from our house and got really confused because we had the cars parked elsewhere to make room for people coming to our house for the party. And he kind of just got lost and went down this really steep hill. And Ralph can't exactly remember what happened next, but he went flying, hit his head, but also landed a lot on his side, such as his arm and his legs. So he didn't totally land on his head, and the helmet also really helped him, which is really good. But these neighbors saw him fly by and then heard him moaning. And then, but these neighbors saw him fly by and then heard him moaning. And then the ambulance had to go get him. He didn't have to stay overnight at the hospital, which is also good. And we actually went back today to talk to him. Yeah. Ralph? Be careful. Yeah. Oh my God. What's up? We're all worried about you. How are you? You look great, man. Thank you. Glad, yeah. to see you. glad to see you walking around, my friend. Yep. Back in the Still alive. You scared the crap out of us, Ralph. Oh, yeah. Ralph, I... Oh my mm -hmm. God. They almost had to take me away in a stretcher. So I have a couple of uh, injuries, uh, uh, like just light ab abrasions, and then there's just a huge abrasion. Yeah, just a huge road rash on uh, my uh, um, shoulder. But it sounds like everything's fine. Pop. Yeah, no. Uh, well, they think I have a concussion, but no uh, internal That's bleeding. That's Now, do you remember what happened? So actually, I remember everything before I fell, and then. I don't remember anything. Like, Ronan was there. I kind of had some memory loss. Okay, so I was also, like, hoping that she would be here to, like, just thank her. Because, like, I didn't even know, like, anything ha that was happening. She I was, was just so like, mad, Ralph. Yeah. She said, uh, right as I got on the boosted <laughs> board, Ralph, don't yeah. end up in the ER. And, oh, I remember. Uh, yeah, your, your, she said yeah. that when you came over? Yeah, no, when I got on the boosted board. Uh, she said, Ralph, hopefully no ER visits today. And oh, my God. I ended up in the year. So I had some memory loss. It may have seemed like I was just seeing a lot of things at that You're point. You were repeating yourself. You yeah, kind of sounded yeah, like. Ralph, the police officer like, any drugs? No. Uh -huh. You said no. <laughs> what did you say, Ron? I was like, no. I was like, so, was like okay. Just as, not so it's weird. When I woke up, it's like, apparently I was gone for only like a couple of minutes, but it felt like it was like a day, like I was in a dream for so long. Do you remember what? booted you off the board though like so you, like hit a pothole so here's what happened well i don't even remember i just remember so i was making a turn back to go to the house and that was like my first mistake going way too far <laughs> um we thought you were then, gonna go like up the driveway yeah so. so i thought i saw your car and also mrs robinson's car yeah. and i thought oh that was pleasant street so I started going that direction, oh, no. and then I saw a hill, and I was like kind of confused. But oh, then, no, no. as I started going down the hill, I started to see like I don't see like the Robinsons' house, <laughs> and then I was like I'm trying not... trying to break the boosted board and everything, and it just didn't work. And then Whoa, the last thing I remember was just like coming off, and then oh, no. I don't remember anything. You should go to prom. Though. Like, yeah, well, you'll so be, you'll if you fit. can't, if you Greg can't go, here. I would be more than happy to take a lot of them. <laughs> he literally oh, texted, me, friend, he texted me on Snapchat, like, first thing this morning, hey, uh, do you need he me to take a lot of Oh, good, you're fine. Oh, and by the way. <laughs> yeah. We have, know, a theory, we have a theory that somebody rigged up the uh, the boosted board to try to do a presidential assassination on oh, Greg. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. When it reached a maximum speed, it would slam on the brakes. Maybe so. yeah, Greg was worried his uh, term would like end yeah, and he I, wouldn't get reelected. Who, who was it? Ian, uh, I was worried Ian, uh, Ian's in, oh, might be an assassination attack. Oh, an anarchist. <laughs> so, wow. Uh, I don't See, know. He's, 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 you gotta be careful. While I was on the ambulance, I forgot that Mrs. Robinson was there. And I was like, all right, uh, this is the class that I took. This was my high school crush. And like, uh, all these embarrassing uh, details. Yes. And, I mean, enjoy you yourself, Mrs. Robinson. Thank you, Cal. Have you a good day, my man. Thank Thank you you well. Well. Enjoy the boat. Of course, that's going to be locked. Bust out. Here I come. Hello, can I do a buoy bomb? Bubba buoy. I'm very glad that you're okay. I am not dead. 
and I'm glad to have you back on my YouTube channel. I will be signing an executive order tonight. Cal, you're, you're uh, on kangaroo court trial for um, for what happened. Calador right. Robinson uh, will court. Will you also uh, prosecute the uh, anarchist that was responsible for this? Uh, for rigging up the for, uh, exactly. This is probably an assassination of a president. An attempt. We can't let this they happen. The wrong we can't let realize. this happen. You think that they were they trying to assassinate me? Yeah, but they didn't realize that you were like out of time. They confused me for Greg. First footage of the new boat Aiden has gotten. <laughs> there you go. Nice, Cal. Pretty handsome crew, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>